Hey guys, what is up? In this video we are going to make a simple hunger bar for your Unity game and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I of course did is set up a simple scene with just a plane so you can walk and a FPS controller. And what we want to do is make a simple hunger bar that decreases when you walk and yeah that's simply it. So the first thing is of course the uh, visual so the hunger bar of course needs to be yeah a UI element so we just gonna create a canvas you can click on 2d here and double click on canvas and there you have it so then you will click on here of course and add a slider here it is so the slider of course will be non interactable and if it's non interactable we can just disable the image from the handle so the next thing is you can of course uh, make a custom color for hunger bar most people use a brown so we just gonna also use brown um, maybe this sort of thing yeah it looks all right so now we just gonna resize it a bit so maybe we can do three three hundred by 50 and then what you want to do is click on here rect um, then you want to hold I think alt I don't I, I think it's alt on Windows I only know it's option on Mac uh, you just want to hold this and then click on this and then you have it here on the bottom right corner a uh, left corner of course and here you have your hunger bar visuals you can of course customize it um, yeah but this is a simple one. So now we're going to create a script and we just call it hunger bar. Yeah. And let's open it in Visual Studio. And yeah, Visual Studio, of course, always takes a while to open. And yeah. So now we are in Visual Studio. Um, and yeah, the first thing that we are actually going to do is we type using unity engine dot ui uh, so unity engine dot ui this is important because we will use the slider and you just need to implement that if you use uh, the ui elements so the first thing of course is we'll make a public slider and we could just call it hunger uh, slider good um, so, and in the update, the first thing that we're actually going to do is set the hung, or actually, um, the first thing, one thing we are going to do is we create a, a float. We can make a public float, actually, um, and we just call it hunger. So, uh, now we can go here in the update and set the hunger slider um, dot value uh, here equal to our hunger good then we're gonna create another float and we just call it max hunger good and um, this one we actually um, type in what our max hunger will be for me it's 100 and in the start, we actually set the hunger equal to the uh, max hunger. Good. Um, and then we can remove this. I hate those. Um, what we can do then is we, of course, uh, want the hunger to decrease. Um, if you like, if you stand still, it should decrease a bit. Then if you walk, it should decrease even more and if you sprint it should also decrease even more uh, and also if you jump it should of course decrease uh, so the first thing is of course we're gonna make the decrease when you don't do anything so for that we just set a hunger a minus equal one you can of course use any value you want but it's important that you use time dot delta time a time dot dot delta time because then it will do this every second and not 
every frame, which in every frame is not good because it's then different from everyone and it depends on your uh, frame rate, which we don't want. So yeah, uh, the next thing we are going to do is make an if statement and we can say if uh, input a dot get key and it's important you don't, don't use get key down just use get key and we can go key code dot uh, w because that's for moving and yeah then we'll decrease the hunger uh, by let's say in two so yeah and of course multiplied with uh, time no time dot delta time and actually we can do this here and we make it up arrow for those uh, who use the arrow keys you can also do that of course so the next thing that we are going to do is um, we say if input uh, here it is uh, input dot uh, get key and we this time we use key code dot left shift uh, left shift because left shift is actually uh, for um, sprinting for in this standard character controller so yeah uh, you can of course use if you have another sprinting button you use this but for most of you it's probably left shift so then we can decrease the hunger by um, let's say a 5f and multiply it with time dot delta time good and the last thing that we are one gonna do is actually make uh, like decrease it if um, you jump so if input dot and this time we want to get key down because jumping is only when you like you don't hold uh, the spacebar when you jump um, so we want to get key down and we're going to use a key code dot uh, I think it was space uh, yeah space yeah good so if you hit the spacebar then we want the hunger uh, to decrease by let's say 10 and this time you don't want the uh, multiplied with time dot delta time because it's because it only happens once um, yeah so let's just test that if everything is working properly but of course you will need the hunger bar to be uh, attached let's just attach it to the um, player controller and here you have the slider um, so you're just gonna drag your this little slider in here and the hunger needs to be of course actually it doesn't need to be anything uh, you can just leave it empty and if we now hit play it should be working so yeah we want to see it better so we're just gonna debug log our hunger so let's just say debug dot log and we'll say hunger good um so here also is uh, the slider i forgot that uh, needs to be on max value needs to be 100 so yeah that's very important and now let's test it and it should be working yeah 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 now you can see it's actually decreasing you can see and if i hold this it should yeah it's actually decreasing uh way faster and yeah if i um now sprint it's decreasing even fa it's decreasing even faster and if i jump every time i jump it's a bit uh, more like it's going 10 yeah you know what i mean it's uh increasing decreasing by 10 every time i jump but of course we uh want to um of or also we want to um um, increase our hunger if we maybe eat something so what we are going to do is make another script and we just call it hunger uh, pick up maybe 
yeah um, so here we actually want to go back to the hunger bar and you can you can make the um, this should be a static so public static float uh, static scripts you can actually um, uh, change the value uh, from another script we, which we of course want we want to change the value from the hunger pickup so we can just delete that and what we're going to do is are we going to say on trigger enter yeah um we're going to say on trigger enter then we want to um check if this was actually the player so uh so no this is false if other dot compare tag and then we want to say player oh uh, yeah then if this happens we want to uh, make another if statement uh, which will be if no yeah if input uh, dot get uh, key down and we're just gonna make it key code dot e um, and then if this happens mm, we're just going to say um, destroy game object um, destroy game object and definitely a right game object with a small g so yeah that's important but before we destroy the game object we actually want to say hunger bar dot hunger should increase by uh, let's say uh, 50 so yeah now what the script does is if you enter the trigger of our health i uh, know our hunger pickup um, then it checks if it's actually the player by comparing the tag and then if you press e to actually eat then it will um, increase our hunger and destroy the game object so you can do it infinite times so let's actually try that we of course need a, a object for that let's just say this cube is something to eat um yeah so what we're going to do is make the uh, hunger pick up uh wait to hunger yeah let's just drag it in from here a uh, hunger pick up script and something oh of uh, I accidentally made a um, space in this which you shouldn't do it doesn't work if you make space so yeah just a little mistake hunger pick up here it is and now what we want to do is make another box collider a box collider and this thing we want to increase by as a one increase this numbers by two so it's a bit bigger than the actual one and definitely set uh, to is triggered this is very important so now if we uh, go into this trigger uh, where is it? I I don't know why but I uh, somehow can't like look around I don't know why this is happening but okay uh, so we're just gonna put it here this should be working so now uh, if we go to this thing here and it does not do anything but if we um, press E here it should be working no it's not working I don't know why it's not working let's just check if we did anything wrong um, it should be actually working maybe um, we need to make this on trigger stay actually this should be working now oh this is not even tagged as player of course you need to tag this as player but now it should be working finally uh, so we go here and then we press E and it's not or is it it was actually working I think yeah it's actually working you can see here we now have 135 but the thing is if you now collect many of these your hunger is actually over 100 which we of course don't want um, we want to be like we want it to be um, yeah you know what I mean it shouldn't be over 100 because 100 is of course the max value 
So what we are going to do um, is actually, yeah, what can we do with that? Uh, the first thing is we don't want our hunger to decrease anymore if it's already at zero. So we just can make a big if statement, which will be here. Um, no, not here, but here under this hunger slider, we're going to make a if statement. And we say if our hunger is is bigger or equal to zero. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to make those brackets do this. And now if our hunger is um, bigger or equal to zero, this will actually uh, do its thing. And if it's smaller than zero, or actually we only this. So if it's zero, then it shouldn't decrease anymore. So let's try that out. We're just going to go here. And now I'm going to jump a few times. Now we can see five, four, three, two, one, and then it should actually stop. Yeah, it stops uh, at minus uh, zero point and something, some numbers, but it's actually not important. It's around zero and that's what counts. So now if we walk here and collect this, it is um, decreasing again. So that's of course very awesome. Uh, but we don't want it to be over 100. So this is something that's a bit more complicated. Um, yeah. So what we can actually do is, um, what we can do is uh, we make another if thing. So if our, if hunger bar dot hunger, oh, hunger is actually um, smaller or equal to 50 then we want to do this so yeah um so if the hunger is over 50 it doesn't do this so um yeah you'll see it um so we're gonna go inside of here and now our hunger is currently over 50 so if we, I go to this cube and press E, it does nothing. But if we, um, but if our hunger is under 50 and I press E, then it should be doing something. Yeah, here you can see now it did it actually. So yeah, that's how you can prevent players to actually uh, get over 100 uh, hunger. So yeah, that was basically it. But um, you of course probably want to implement this that you maybe die if you have zero hunger or that your health decreases. And I'm going to show you how you can do this actually. Um, so what we're going to here in make here in the update, this is here. Uh, no, it's actually here. You can make another if statement and say if hunger is smaller or equal to zero. And definitely also make the smaller one because um, uh, a few minutes ago, uh, you have uh, seen that sometimes the hunger is minus 0, 0.0 and some smaller numbers. So definitely do also s smaller or equal to zero. And then you can here do your, in this thing, you can actually do um, your code, which is of course, uh, if you have like a health bar, you can directly increase health or if you I don't know, you can do everything you want inside of that. And yeah, that was basically it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you of course did, you can like the video, subscribe and comment what tutorial you want next. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Also, if you have questions or if something didn't work, definitely write it in the comments so I can help you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.